Welcome back to the Daily Grind. Today we're playing in a raised bed. A raised bed just like that. A little smaller than this. This is a four by eight and this will be a three by six. And I think I'm gonna put them long ways right here. And I put together these, it's the same brand, same thing, uh, just a little smaller. So there is some difficulty to it, <laughs> but it's not too difficult. It's just, it's a pain in the butt um, quite a bit, but it'll work. So they're inexpensive. I think uh, like 60 bucks for two of them. I'm putting together one right now, bring you guys along. It comes with this bag of parts. Make sure you got something that you can keep all the parts together. Like I'm gonna put them right here because they get everywhere. And this is part of the difficulty of putting this together. All right, so it comes with four of these brackets, four of the top brackets, four stakes, and then a whole bunch of, of these. So I'm gonna try to keep these in the bag, but they will come out a little bit. So let's get started. All right, so how this works is there's two different sizes. There's a short, and a long and the short has two holes at the ends on both side here see two holes at the very top but these smaller ones only or the longer ones have two holes there and only one there and you'll see why so when you're putting it together you want this kind of curves back in there you want this part on the out so as opposed to like this where it curves in if that makes sense you want it to curve out can you hold that up honey so you need this bracket it's kind of holding a lot of things it really helps if you have two people it's almost almost required i tried to put these together myself and it was really tough all right so what i do is i put the bracket on first like this with the screw in and then i can put it in this first hole and I just hand tighten this. Don't need anything really tight. It's just kind of holding it. Okay. And you can grab another one. There's a second hole here for the bracket. And put that in. So next, it makes it a little easier now, we can put this one on. I love these. Put this through. All right, then we put that through. Hand tighten. Thanks, bud. All right, and then we put the other one in. So now we got four screws in here, as you can see. Now we got to do the bottom and the bottom requires the other bracket. So what I do is I pull it out like this. And I try to align those until I can find all the holes aligned. All right, give me a, give me a screw. And this is what I'm talking about. It becomes a real pain to try to align both of those. Without somebody helping. Well, even with. All right, hand me another screw. All right, forget the bracket for now. Let's just get these aligned. All right, so we'll align it, put the screw in, that'll hold it. There you go. It's kind of hold on, Abby. All right, and then put the bracket in. Give me a, a nut. We got this, and this has to slip. It can't go on top, it has to slip underneath, so we need that loose. All right, so we put screw in, and then we can bring that in, that bracket, and then we just screw this on. Now this side is done, so now we need to take a screwdriver and go ahead and tighten all these. Then we can work on getting the other angle piece on this side. And we'll do two of these, and then we connect them right in the center over here. What we're doing is we're holding this nut. Now I don't have anything that's gonna work other than this. I mean, if you had something like this, or, you know, whatever, like a wrench, that would work, but this is the smallest I've got, and it doesn't fit that. But I would recommend getting it. I don't know what size this is, I'm gonna be honest, but it works this way, but this works too. 
So if all you got is this, that's fine. And again, this is kind of a pain. They're not self-tightening, uh, so you definitely need something to hold the nut in the back, which becomes kind of a pain. And then flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And you can see how this kind of becomes a pain. So I will say they're not the easiest to put together. This is not the most fun thing to do, but they're inexpensive and they work really well. And being galvanized steel, they're gonna last a long time. So once you do it, you're done. So we're basically just gonna be repeating this. Okay, once that one is on, the rest are usually a lot easier. Now we hand tighten that. So let's get one more. Yeah, tighten it all the way, as tight as you can get it. Can you feel yep. Let me see. Let me help you. I was holding it in. Let's not strip it. Yeah, you had it. That's tight. That's tight enough. Doesn't have to be crazy tight. When flipping these, guys, it's really important that you don't bend it too much because that can damage it. So it's really tough to do it. But And if you're going to have to move this, you grab from this side and lift so that way it's not going to not going to bend it. Be careful because they can bend <laughs> really easily. Then we're just going to put one down, make sure that the plastic corner parts are up and you can get this other one. Make sure those, the plastic parts are up. And then you can see there's two holes here. And then there's, as it goes down, there's more. They've got these braces that go across. And so they alternate between one and then the other. So it would be a zigzag, boom, 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 boom. You could start it here and there and there and there as well. So this will hold it together. And then I can get the braces put in and the other parts. Okay. And then the same thing. On this side, but <laughs> there we go. I knew I had a problem. So I unfortunately on this one, put one of the smaller ones here. As you can see, it's a double. So I gotta take this one off. And this is a problem with this system. Uh, you really gotta pay attention to which ones you're putting on. Because this won't work. See, there's nothing that mentions which ones they go with. So the problem lies is you just got to pay attention. There's nothing that says one, two, three. You just got to look at both sides when you're putting it in because the shorter piece will fit on the side here. And I can't tell you how many times I've done this. All right, so now that we fixed this and we've got the right side on. So we got to make sure that when we put these in that this is going to be lining up with this one. So we don't want to put a screw in there. We'll have to redo that uh, to put in the the arms, the brace. So we'll make sure we put it in this one and then alternate from there. Now we're going to put the braces on. Hand me a bolt nut, Eli. This is really difficult to do. So you want to put this in. The problem is this doesn't hold itself up and it'll fall like that and it'll just come right loose. So when you do it, if you look on this side, you bring this in you can kind of it'll it'll position itself and hold itself oh but if you bump it there we go now that worked so you got to be really careful just get that started at least and that'll hold it all right so we're gonna put this through we'll stick this in on this side make sure we connect it and there's one brace so now we're doing the other one so we can come in and pop this down below and in fact now that that's bracing it this one's a little easier as you can see it holds it there and finally we are just going to tighten now i like to start to tighten it and make sure that these are angled in 
because if these are out, then it wastes a lot of space. But if they're all in like that, then you can tell that there's less space than if they were angled out like that. Okay, and see the difference? So if I can push them in, then that doesn't take up as much space in the center because I can't really plant there. I guess I could in between, but you know, I just push them in, you do it however you want. And then we can tighten the rest of the way. Okay, now we gotta figure out where we're gonna put this. The problem is I've got a big giant root right there, although it just moved, so I might be able to get that up. We, the, the other issue is we got roots right there, roots right there. Um, all this used to be covered with trees um, right up pretty much to my house, which is right there. So it was right up in the middle of the beds. And a couple of these beds, I hid in some roots that I couldn't get any deeper and it just made a real pain to be able to kind of dig this out. So I want to avoid that. The problem is if I'm going to put it this way, I'm not going to be avoiding that. Let's see down this way. All right, there's a big root stump. Okay, and what I see on the surface, I mean, I might have something underneath. All this is root. I know that all along here. I mean, there's roots everywhere. You can see them right there because there was a big tree right under the shed right there. So all the roots came out right here. This one looks like the best because I'm seeing some movement. When I go to kick it, that moves under there. So I'm wondering if I might be able to just dig that out. I'm going to place it where I want it. I'm going to get the positioning right. So I've got this weed barrier cloth that I put down. I didn't quite extend it all the way. I really should have, but I forgot to on this bed. It was the last one I put in and I never got around to it. But I got this weed barrier. So I'm going to nest nestle this right up against the weed barrier. I am going to cut out all these weeds and then lay it right up against the weed barrier. Let's try to make it look nice and try to center it. I've got really, really uh, rocky soil and uh, like a lot of clay. So it's really hard to get into. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, boy, that's a lot easier than a lot of spots. So this is good. I'm gonna, oh, I just hit a rock. I'm gonna dig a, a path so I know right where I'm putting it. I mean, I step on it and I get in maybe a, an inch. It's just this soil. You can see there's a rock and it's all in there as well, really deep. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside. And there we go, I hit a big stump right there, right on the corner. That sucks. So, we'll see if we can dig that out. All right, and here we go. Right there is another stump. So now I got a perimeter around. I'm just gonna start trying to do a little break up, little bits here and there in the center as I go down. And then I can, it's almost night. I mean, it's about 5.30, it gets dark in about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna run the hose here, really kind of soften this. And it should allow me to get in, hopefully deep enough to pull those roots out. So that's all broken up about as best as I can get it. So now I'm just gonna hose it down. All right guys, so I'm just gonna heavily, heavily water this. This wet soil is so much easier to dig. Okay, it's now morning and you can see the outline here of where the raised bed was sitting because I had dug around it. Uh, the ground is quite soft. So I'm gonna use this little tiller and start tilling up the soil. And it kind of gets in. And there's a few spots like that, that <clears throat> I'll hit a rock and it won't go in, but oof. got this root out of the ground, one big giant root. You know, and I think that root is the one that I had said earlier that was a little soft, it was moving around, so it must not have been connected to anything. All right, got another big root out of the ground. Oh, there's more of it down there. 
All right, so next I know that this side is a little high and this is a little low. So I'm gonna start taking some of the dirt and moving it over here. So this isn't perfect, we're gonna adjust it in a little bit. But let's get it on there. All right, guys, let's get more scientific here. Let's get a level. And, oh, oh. that's, these come up actually a little higher on this side. So let's, all right, now it's way high on this side. So we're gonna have to, Dig this out right there because it's hitting right here at this spot. And that is keeping. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. That's the culprit. There is a big root ball right there. Oh. I'm not going to get that out. Now we need to make sure this is out far enough. It's not hitting this big root ball. So that way it can sink a little more into the dirt. Perfect, that one. This one's still a little high, so it's okay. Maybe we can fix it when we fill it. It's close enough though, I think. And we're gonna be okay. Okay, now for the real fun job of filling it up with dirt. One scoop at a time. Okay, so I've got it about a quarter of the way full, um, maybe a little less, but that's just to keep it in position so it doesn't move or blow away or anything like that. One thing I forgot is it came with these stakes, so I'm glad I did this before I filled up because you're just not gonna, there's no way you're getting in there. So right there you can see there is, I had to brush away the dirt, a little section to stick the stake. And unfortunately my dirt, I'm hitting a rock and I can't get in with my hands. You're supposed to be able to do it with your hand. There's really no way to swing a hammer in there but it'll just have to be. Now these stakes, I don't think they really matter. I'm gonna be honest. You fill it with dirt. I don't see this going anywhere. See that one went in nice and deep. I'm gonna to run to Home Depot and get some amendment for the soil. So the soil that I got right over here, this big pile, which I filled up all these raised beds with, is basically it's mostly sand and a little bit of clay. It's really not that great for growing stuff in. The place I got it from said it was great. It's decent, it's okay, but the more I amend it, the better the soil gets. So I'm gonna amend it with some peat moss. All right, so I just got back from Lowe's. I got some peat moss and some manure. I'll probably add about half the bag. I mean, it's quite a bit of peat moss, but add about half the bag and the whole bag of cow manure here. There's a little bit of hard stuff I'm trying to break up as Eli brings it. So I'm just gonna use the rake to Kind of brush it out a little bit. It'll allow me to find bigger chunks that either I can try to break up. Yep. Or if not, you just get rid of them. We don't want these heavy chunks in because there's going to be some root veggies. Cut the top of the bag off and just dump some in. There we go. Wow, look at that. Eli, come feed this to the chickens. Come on. Don't grab it. I mean, well, grab it, but watch its head. I don't know if it can bite you or not. It's a gnarly looking beetle. 
hairs on it. Yep, throw it in. <laughs> the chickens are mad. <laughs> it's already ripped. It's already ripped apart. I see a little part of it over here. Yep. They like it. They love it. We're going to find more of them. Yeah, that's a big grub, isn't it? So this stuff is kind of clumped together from being compressed in that bag. So we got to break it apart. Watch out, you almost hit me in the face, bud. And then we're just gonna till it in with this thing so that way it all gets broken up in, into it. All right, so. Got this mostly full. We are gonna do a top dressing of that peat moss. Try to rake it and get a nice even top dressing. So there we go. That's how I do it, guys. I'm just gonna water it now so everything gets wet and it won't blow off. Okay. All done, I watered it. This will soak in and it should keep everything from blowing away. And there we go guys, soaked in and it's ready to plant. If you're interested in getting one of these beds, I will link it in the description section below of where I got it. It's on Amazon. And like I said, they're a great deal for what they are. They are a little difficult to put together, but you know, if you get another person and you have a, an afternoon to spend, you can probably put together both of them. Well, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.